All right, today we're going to take a look at the Florida Derby. A field of 11 went to post. Your eventual winner, White Abario, number seven uh, for trainer Safi Joseph. Interestingly enough, White Abario spiked a fever, just a minor fever, but it caused his final workout uh, to be delayed for the race. I believe it was postponed a couple of days. Who knows if it had any effect on his performance? Probably didn't. Uh, but the eventual outcome of this race would be 7 6 3 5. So 7 6 3 5. I'm going to show you the replay, then we're going to analyze the race further. You're going to note they go pretty fast for the first half mile. It was a 47 and 1 fifth opening half mile. And then the third quarter of this race was running 23.44, so a blistering third quarter on top of a fast opening half mile. And then they walked home after that. The final three furlongs of this race was running 40 seconds. They were all crawling at the end. With all that said, I'm going to show you the replay of the Florida Derby, then we'll talk more about it afterwards. And they're off in the Florida Derby. Excellent beginning for Classic Causeway from down toward the inside. Simplification was way away in good shape today, and he's up to challenge from second. Papa Cap gets away in third. Wide around the first turn is White Abario. The race favorite charge it drops in mid-flight. He's about four lengths behind. Then it's O Captain racing ahead of Clapton and King of Truth. Cajun's Magic is third last. Steel Sunshine is second last. And 11th and last is Strike Hard as they chase the Tampa Bay Derby winner Classic Causeway to the backstretch run. Classic Causeway relaxed up front, he leads a half a length. Simplification will not let him get far. Second, three wide pop a cap third. Luis Ayas has charge it fourth at the rail. He's racing together with the gray white Abario. A gap of another two to Clapton, who's outside of O Captain. Then it's a length and a half to Cajun's Magic. King of Truth and Steel Sunshine race together about 10 lengths off the pace, and still at the back is Strike Hard. The opening quarter was 23 and 3. The half mile was 47 and 1. Half a mile to go in the 2022 Curlin Florida Derby. We have a new leader simplification has powered past classic causeway who backpedals papa cap looms a threat on the outside white abario takes third up to fourth is charge it dropping back his classic causeway then clapton and O captain as they run to the top of the stretch up front papa cap doing battle with simplification three wide white abario charge it getting ready to launch his bid he's three lengths off the lead but gaining ground with a quarter of a mile left to go now at the top of the stretch simplification bracing for an oncoming white abario Papa Cap is very game between horses and Charge It swings into action on the far outside. There's an eighth of a mile to go. White Abario takes over from Simplification. Charge It with the late say down the center. 16th to run. White Abario almost home. Charge It shifts ground. White Abario still there. And White Abario wins the Florida Derby for Sappy Joseph Jr. from Charge It in second and Simplification third. Papa Cap ran fourth. The time for the race, a minute 50 and three. All right, so a key player in this race, I think a lot more than people realize, was the eventual fourth place finisher, Papa Cap. Now, Papa Cap won his debut. He won first time out at just five furlongs. In the second start of his career, he won the best pal stakes, grade two best pal stakes, going six furlongs at Del Mar. Um, eventually, he was second in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile as a two-year-old. He's a horse that they've tried to stretch out. They've tried to make him, you know, kind of a derby trail timber type horse, and he's just not that type of horse. To me, he's a horse, out of all the horses in the Florida Derby, the horse that I'm most interested in betting out of that race next time would be Papa Cap if they cut him back to, say, seven furlongs. Anyway, we'll watch Papa Cap's best pal stakes. You'll see where I'm going with this. After them. It's a long way back to Aquatina arrival. Coming to the quarter pole and Thirsty always gets the lead, but Papa Cap immediately comes to tackle on the outside. Bet on Mookie tries to hang tough down at the rail. Three of them line up in the best pal. It's Papa Cap on the outside. Bet on Mookie's down at the rail, but Papa Cap now has the advantage. And from here on in, it's just a matter of how far Papa Cap, an easy winner of the best pal under Joe Bravo. Second is Phineas. Third. All right, now we're looking at the LeCompte stakes. Papa Cap, number three, off a 47 flat half mile. He's going to take a bold inside run 
at Epicenter. He's going to look Epicenter in the eye. Epicenter is going to eventually shrug Papa Cap off, but he does not have enough left late uh, to hold off the big setup closer, Call Me Midnight. Toward the inside, here's Papa Cap, and Papa Cap now starts a bid. Blue Kentucky is wide. Trafalgar, Call Me Midnight, Unified Report, Presidential Blast, they're into the stretch. Three quarters in one minute, 12.16 seconds. They're coming down toward the final furlong in the LeCompte, and it's epicenter, tackled up the inside by Trafalgar. As they come in, Papa Cap is toward the inside. Trafalgar's now third. Late bid by Call Me Midnight, who's charging hard on the outside. It's epicenter, Papa Cap the rail, and here's Call me midnight on the outside photo finish in the LeCompte. All right, back before the Kentucky Derby went to a point system, they used graded uh, graded stakes earnings to determine who would be the 20 horses that get into the starting gate. The point system kind of uh, filtered out horses like Papa Cap, who, who you know was a graded stakes winning sprinter as a two-year-old going six furlongs. Basically, sprinters and precocious types who were really good two-year-olds and didn't develop routing at three are the kind of horses that get filtered out by the new Derby point system. As a result of it, I believe the last four the, the last four runnings of the Kentucky Derby, I'm going off the top of my head here, but I believe the last four runnings of the Kentucky Derby, the horse who went to the early lead um, eventually, you know, crossed the wire first. I know that was the case um with uh, Medina Spirit, uh, with, with Authentic, uh, three years ago, uh, Maximum Security, and I believe Justify went to the lead too. But I believe a big reason why that is is because you've got your Papa Cap types filtered out of the Kentucky Derby because of the point system. So you, you're going to see in that third quarter of this race – how Papa Cap really, I think, plays a key role in the race. All right, we're going to start with the break here. Your eventual second-place finisher is the Todd Pletcher-trained Charge It. Just a third-time starter in this race, and you're actually going to see him. Uh, I think he breaks kind of poorly here. All right, here's the break. You see just about a half, maybe about a half-length slow Charge It breaks, and he's got to be hustled up early into the race. Uh, White of Barrio is real easy to pick out. He's the gray horse. Uh, the number two, your Tampa Bay Derby winner, your Sam Davis winner, Classic Causeway, uh, gets to the early lead, gets early position with the Rod Ortiz. All right, now we ha we've got him just rounding the first turn here. You've got Classic Causeway on the lead. Uh, simplification right off him. And look who's out here, three wide menacing. This is Papa Cap. Uh, the grade the grade two winning sprinter going uh, six furlongs here. He, he's right outside these two um, with the box seat in behind is Charge It, the Todd Fletcher trained third time starter. And your eventual winner, White of Barrio, he's going to get the toe. He's going to follow Papa Cap and get the toe. Whereas um, Simplification and Classic Causeway are going to have Papa Cap breathing down his neck. All right, now they're heading into the far turn. You see Classic Causeway is just, he, he's put away. He's backed out of it. Simplification has taken the lead, and Papa Cap is just breathing right down his neck. Uh, now the, the rider on the six is going to gonna go to an all-out ride on Charger just to keep position. And White Barrio is moving really well and just getting the toe following uh, Papa Cap here and is going to swing out around him. So right here, you see Jose take the lead on simplification. Here comes here comes the move on Papa Cap, and this is just a, a big move heading into the far turn here. It was a 23-44 third quarter, and into the teeth of that goes Papa Cap to stick his head in front. Simplification is, you know, he's really getting – he got looked in the eye – and went on by, and he's got to dig in. This is a tough spot for a horse to be in, but he's going to dig in from the inside. All right, picking this up a little further along, these two horses are still hooked up head and head. White of Barrio's getting the toe. He's following. Look at the ride. It looks like Charge It's going absolutely nowhere here. He's under an all-out ride, and White of Barrio's not being ridden nearly as hard, and, and he's uh, you know created some separation on him. 
Uh, but Charge is going to come running through the lane. You're going to see it looked like Charge might win for a second. Then he he ducks in, he shifts in, he goes to his wrong lead. So it's only Charge's third career start. It was the first time he took dirt. First time he was behind horses, and he was real green and erratic through the stretch. But he was doing all of that through a final three furlongs in 40 seconds. So, you know, there's no there's no trouble in slow portions of the race. So, anyway, here you see Papa Kappa in simplification. They're in a war, eyeball to eyeball. White Abario coming off the toe, tipping out and swooping around. And Charge It is going to be the horse to – Kind of watch through the stretch. We'll speed this up a little bit. All right, simplification. He's fended off the pesky Papa Cap. Put away Papa Cap. As soon as he puts away Papa Cap, the white of Barrio comes over the top. And right here, it looks like Charge it might do something, but he's going to duck in. And as he's ducking in, Gaff Leone's coming out on White Abario. So charge it. He's got to get – he's got to shift back out again. He goes to the wrong lead here, just a sign of greenness. It's White Abario, the winner for a pumped-up Gaff Leone. You see him celebrating. With all that said, the point of these videos, I like to give you a horse to look for next time. And the one you're going to want to bet next time out of this race is Papa Cap, if they cut him back. But anyway, that's a look at the Florida Derby, won by the pretty white Abario. I hope you enjoyed it.